and welcome to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick, with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, here for a geology lesson. So, I consider myself an amateur geologist, or rock hound is what they call themselves, and I have a few geological tools here to assist me with my candy core sampling activity, but you can also have the following in-house tools to help you along, and that would be a knife. Again, if you're using a knife, please make sure your parent or guardian is there with you. A noodle or a straw. I cut mine to size. And a toothpick. I cut my straw to size so when I'm doing the core sample I can use the toothpick to sort of push it out of the straw. Now, I have here a type of rock. I'll get it closer there to the camera and this happens to be a sedimentary rock. You can see all the sediments and all the different types of rock materials combined into one rock. Now over geological time sediments have layered themselves one on top of the other, one on top of the other, on top of the other and with the weight of gravity pressing down on this rock it has formed and solidified itself into a sedimentary rock. Now sandstone happens to be one of the most common of the sedimentary rock types and that rock there is a beautiful example of a sedimentary rock. But you too can find other types of rock samples in tasty candy treats. Now with your tools that you have available in your home you can ask your parent to help with a knife and you could start maybe by cutting one of these candy samples in half and noticing the different layers of rock over geological time that has formed in your rock sample. Looks like a large layer of caramel and then a large layer of rocky cooking material below that. But there is the geologist that's overzealous and likes to just come by and just go with their rock sample, but let's be a little bit more cautious and see what we have inside of each one of our samples before we go and whack with our geological crack hammer. I have Another instrument, which happens to be a ruler, so you can actually measure the samples and keep a log or a data of the rock samples that you make. And as you're doing your experiment, take a picture. Post what your experiment setup looks like and what your candy core samples look like as well. So I think I'm going to start with this random piece here. I'm going to take my straw, stick that through and pull up and you'll notice you have pulled out a candy core sample and from that core sample you can determine the different types of layers of rock and I'm taking my toothpick and gently pushing down. You can also use the straw and push out with the straw and see the different layers. There it is a little bit closer. You can see the different layers. Oh, it's falling out there on the surface. Now, the study of geology is the study of the earth. Geo meaning earth and ology meaning to study. But you can also have planetary geology where you have scientists go out to various other planets in the form of rovers, which we have now. On the surface of Mars, several rovers going and exploring and discovering the different rock types on the surface of Mars to determine if there was once water or once life on that surface many, many geological ages ago. And they take and they sample and they have on their robotic arm devices that allow them to determine the chemical structure of the rocks. But here on Earth and even on the moon, we had with Apollo 17, Dr. Harrison Schmidt, a trained geologist in the field, 
to go to the moon and explore, and he, as a trained geologist, discovered vastly different types of rock samples that the other astronauts for the other missions did not notice before, like colored glass materials, orange soils on the surface of the moon, that were quite different and new geological discoveries. So go through and sample your different types with different tools that you have around the house. Lay out your samples and cross compare them. You can take bigger core samples if you like with your noodle going through just like this and then removing. You can get a bigger core sample Set that down on your table. Notice if you have larger rock material on the inside, very similar to the sedimentary rock that I showed you earlier. All the larger rock pieces combined with the other layers of material throughout time. Some of your candy rock samples may have harder rocks on the inside or it may be smooth all the way through. So I challenge you to be your own home geologist and discover the tasty types of geology you can find and you can study. Post your experiment setup in the comments below and send us a shout out of what you possibly learned or if you want to be a geologist, tell us what you want to study. So until then, remember, science never stops and mm, tasty science never stops either. Take care.